Steroids are a beautiful thing, eh? Come on, guys. What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. A little bit of a different setting as you can see. I'm in the middle of my living room. I set up my two lights. I wanted to make this very intimate and special. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I feel like I need to say something. I need to get it off my chest. Usually comments on the internet don't bother me at all. And it still doesn't really. You know, stuff that I don't agree with and stuff that I don't I just see differently. Um, I have this channel to express my opinion. This is my channel. I want to post a video. I want to say something about the situation. And you might be like, what the hell? What situation? There's not even anything going on. I know it's not a big deal, but I want to say something. And it has a good, it has a good message, in my opinion. It has a good message behind it. Excuse my like super sweaty face. I just came back from the gym. I set up my my stuff here in the living room and um, yeah, here we are. So to explain the situation a little bit better, let's start at the beginning. So I posted a transformation picture, a five year transformation picture. Now on the left side, you see me 17 years old at the end of summer, um, five years ago, that was 2012. So the end of summer, 2012, that picture was made and that was the summer before I started working out. So um, that would say, I would say is the, like a legitimate starting point for me in my fitness journey. The picture on the right, was uh, a couple weeks ago when I did a collab with Gino Brauers. Uh, we trained together and we took that picture in the gym. Uh, obviously, the difference is huge and uh, I was very proud of it. Five year transformation, um, so I posted that picture. Also, uh, Face Sensei also posted that picture, which gave me a lot more exposure uh, than just on my um, Instagram page and Twitter because he has like 300,000 something followers. So I have a lot, there were a lot of people that didn't know me that saw the picture were like, what the hell is going on here? And it's five years of very, very hard work and dedicating myself to training and bettering myself physically and also mentally, uh, but pr primarily like physically improvement. Now this goes, this thing, this picture and its comments goes hand in hand with a lot of things that I've been seeing on my YouTube channel and my comments. So I want to go over some of the comments uh, on Instagram page um, just to give you an idea of what the comments were like. Steroids are a beautiful thing, eh? It looks so unnatural. There's no way he's not juicing. Probably on steroids because they all do crack. That one's kind of funny because I didn't, what the hell? Sensor has been working out for a longer time and he doesn't even look like this. What the fuck? Yeah, but he's taking roids up his ass. Wow, he knows how to use Photoshop. <laughs> Damn bro, roids are, okay, so you get the idea of the amount of steroids comments that I get on this picture. Now for me, personally, this is like the biggest like compliment that I can get. If I can make myself look like I'm on steroids for some reason, people think that, then that's fucking crazy. I'm super happy. I made a sick transformation. I'm not scared to say it. It's a pretty sick transformation. I went from like this thin to this thin. I mean, it is a transformation. I worked my ass off for it, so I'm proud of it. So I can say it's a pretty crazy transformation. But this goes hand in hand with the thing that I want to talk about because um, I get a lot of comments on my um, YouTube videos that say, Hey man, you're not even strong, but you um, you are so big, but you're not even strong, bro. Uh, like, that's bullshit. You're on steroids. Bro, you don't even lift heavy. I, I'm 15, I lift more than you, but you are bigger than me. Obviously, I understand these comments and I have no problem with them, but the problem with those comments is that... So there's a few things here that I need to say, personally, for you guys to understand. So, I, for one, don't train for strength. I train for muscle mass. Uh, I train to get bigger and I train for looks. I don't train to get stronger. I don't train to be the strongest. And I don't train like a power or strong, like strongman or power lifter. I don't barely go low weight, low reps. Usually what I do is like higher reps. I don't train for strength or getting the best lifts on bench or the best overhead press or like really strong at deadlifts. I just train to get bigger. Second thing, if you look at these wrists right here, look at, yeah, a six year, six year old girl has these wrists. Like I am not even close to being made uh, to being strong or anything like that, or lifting heavy weights. Like these wrists break when I put anything on the bar higher than 225, pretty much. So um, that's the second part. I'm not even made to be strong uh, at all. Third part, I am 5'7". Don't forget, I am a small human being. 
Um, so anything that I put on as muscle mass looks way bigger on me, a 5'7 person, than someone who is 6'2. So for example, if, if I would be 6'2, I would not even be close to be as um, big as I am now. Now this brings me to the next point, which is and when people comment, I am 15 and I am stronger than you. People think that I get butt hurt over that. People think like, oh, that I sit behind my computer like, fuck, a 15 year old is like lifting more than me. Fuck, dude. What? Fuck, bro, fuck. But that's not the case at all. Like, I'm happy for you. I like, I, I don't understand this concept. So if you lift more than me, please. Yes, bro, I'm so happy for you. I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't give a fuck if someone lives more than me. That's, that's not what it's about. What it's about is bettering yourself in a way that you want to better yourself. So if you want to get stronger at 15 and you are stronger, that, that's fucking great. I love it. If you want to get bigger, get bigger. It's fucking awesome. Like, I don't see the point of comparing yourself to someone else. And this is what I want to talk about. So get to the point, Jasper. Whatever your goal is with fitness, whatever it is, is getting stronger, getting more muscular, getting shredded, losing weight. It is all about progress, your personal, personal progress. Look at yourself and look at your own goals, look at your own progress and then talk. Don't compare yourself to me, to anyone else, anyone in your gym, I don't care. Never, never do that. I, I just needed to get it on my chest that it's not important those, I'm like, I'm nothing but happy for you if you are stronger than me or bigger than me. Like, I don't care. I didn't look at myself, I look at my own progress, and I'm proud of that. And that's why I post the transformation pictures because hopefully uh, a kid who wants to start out looks at the picture and be like, wow, I, I want to look like that and I'm going to train hard for it because it's not an unnatural transformation. It's five years. Five years is a long time. Five years of training five or six times a week, if you look at that, Five times a week on average, times 52 weeks in a year, it's like 250 times to the gym, right? Like estimated 250 times five years is 1250 sessions at the gym. 1250! You know how many times that is in the gym? That is so much, like that's like 1800 hours in a gym spent working very hard and then then there's the diet, then there's stuff that you do outside to, to, for that. Like it's so much work. The transformation that I made is not unnatural, it's just hard fucking work. And I'm so glad that so many of you send me messages like, oh damn, this picture really inspired me. I wanna get off my ass now, I've been working out for a couple months, but this makes me work even harder. And that's what it's all about for me. That's, that's why I have a YouTube channel, that's why I have an Instagram, that's why I wanna share my pictures, it's because I can show you guys five years in advance what you could do if you start. And um, if that's your goal, then uh, hopefully I can inspire you to also achieve that. And um, you know, that's why I do it. That's why I do what I do because I, I love that and I love helping people. And I don't know, I just, I just always wanna be positive and I always wanna be, and I never wanna compare myself to anyone else and I've, I will never do that. I can look up to people and you can be inspired by people, but never compare yourself because there's no reason uh, your goal might be different than my goal or my goal might be different than someone else's goal. So the comparison is like crazy and it's dumb and like everybody's different. So there's no point. Live and let live. Like just be positive and be supportive towards each other and don't bring, try to bring someone else down just because you feel like you're better than them. Because that's not cool and I don't agree with it and you should be positive towards others and trying to help them. So if if um, Peter in the comments is like, hey, I'm stronger than you and I'm only 15, you write, write this and the, the comment will completely change if you write this. Hey, I'm 15 and I'm stronger than you. Try this. You're gonna get stronger and you'll add more mass. If you write that extra part, it's like, bro, thank you for the advice. I will try it out. But if you're like, ha, I'm 15 and I'm stronger than you, you fucking bitch. I'm like, bro, I don't care. You know? So, um, yeah. Different type of video. I'm really sorry. I just wanted to talk about because I felt like I needed to get off my chest. Thank you so much for watching um, to my rant a little bit. But I appreciate you. And I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Deuces.